Hi, welcome in the second tutorial of EFL. This tutorial is aiming at teaching you how to use EDC to sim your application. EDC stands for Edge Data Collection. An EDC file is a text file that contains special code format describing the position, size and other parameters of graphical elements that compose the visual aspect of your application. The syntax of EDC follows a simple to a structure of blocks which contains properties, more blocks or both. In this tutorial, we are going to see multiple possibilities that offer EDC to see our application. In the part, I will introduce you how to do a minimal EDC file in an EFL application. Secondly, we will see how works parts and states. And finally, we will animate our sim. Ok, so let's start by writing a basic EDC file. An EDC file is a collection of groups that contains a name, parts and programs. Give a name to your group. I call it my group. Use HCC tool to compile your EDC file. And we get the edge binary with the EDG extension. Of course, we are going to use our EDC SIM to set an EFL application. But an interesting tool that you should know is Inventor. It allows you to dynamically have and modify the render of your SIM. This is therefore the example on the video. But in our case, this is the layout widget which set our EDC SIM. Okay, so let's write our very simple main program with only two widgets. The win widget which sets the window application and the layout which is added to the window which will set the EDC theme. First we define some macro that will be useful, the size of the layout in window and the name of the edge binary and the edge group. In the main function, the window has to be initialized and the layout too. Uh, the layout is created by adding it to the window. In fact, the main function that interested us in this tutorial is ELM layout file set, who take as parameters the layout and the edge names just defined before. This is this function which will set our theme. Then you can give the size of the window and the layout show them and finally run the application. Now you can compile your application. Don't forget to link headers and libraries. The simplest way to do that is to use pkgconfig. The result of the execution is absolutely the same as we have never defined an EDC theme. Don't panic, we didn't do anything, we didn't add any parts. So let's add one. It is quite easy to add a part. Add one by the name of the style part. Here it will be a rect block called background. Because with no other information, the rect will hold all the space of its parents. Here you know what it is. It is a layout. Let's compile and execute to see the results. The rect holds well all the layout and you can see that the default color is white. A part is made of states, at least one, the default state. In this example, we are going to see how to position and size a part. First, a shim to better understand how positioning works with EDC. A part is by default positioned to its parents. In our case, the parent of all parts is the layout, and that's why the background rectangle holds all the layout by default. In fact, the layout defines a coordinate system where the origin is in the top left hand corner. The axis are goes from the left to the right and one unity is the x length of the layout. That is to say, one unity of the layout equal 500 pixels defined in the EFL application. And the ordinates come from the top to the bottom and one unity is the y length of layout, that is to say, one unity equal 500 pixels too. The position of our 
blue rectangle is defined by two points. The first one is a top left hand corner and the second one is a bottom right hand corner. So there are two ways to position our rectangle. The first method is to set these two points with their coordinates and the second one is just to set one point and set the size of our rectangle. So in your EDC file you already know how to define a new rect part. But this time we are going to describe the default state with a desk block. The default state is the one with loaded at the start of the application. Here the color is described to blue and of course the position. So real one dot relative is matching with the coordinate of the top left hand corner of the blue rectangle and real two dot relative is matching with the coordinates of the bottom right hand corner. Now you can compile and execute to get the same result as the shim. This new example is quite similar to the precedent one except it we place our new rectangle relatively to the blue one. Here is shim to explain it. It is mainly a system coordinate changing where the new origin is now the top left hand corner of the blue rectangle and the x unity is the x length of the blue rectangle and a y unity is the y length of the blue rectangle. In addition, if the blue rectangle is animated and changes its position or size, it will affect all of what is placed relatively to it. In your EDC file, create a new rect part with just two more properties than precedently. To indicate you are placing your new rectangle relatively to the blue one, use rel1.2 and rel2.2. Compile and execute to see the result. Let's see the text part. Simply add this new part with a text block in the name. You can add a shadow effect too. Then describe the default state. You can for instance try to hold the text in a rectangle. Here you have to define the property of the text itself. Size, font, alignment and the text. Let's see the result. To add an image to a part, you have to add it to your group before. Here comp is for lossless compression. Then you finally can create your image part. The most important property to set the default state is image.normal. I choose to put my image in the bottom left hand corner. Compile and execute, you should see your image. Note that it works because my image is in the same directory as my files but you can specify an image directory in HCC option compilation. A main feature of EDC is the possibility to create swallow objects. When this kind of part is added, it can contain any other objects. In our case, it will be a button. Let's create our swallow part. Just create a swallow part with a position. I choose the top right hand corner position. In our main program, we now have to create our button and add it to the swallow part with the ALM layout condensate function. Compile and execute to see the button. You can click on it. An interesting feature of Edge is the possibility to animate our parts with different options. In this section, we are going to see four different animations. First, let's see how it is possible to define an animation at a program starter. In Edge, an animation takes place when a transition is created between two states. So first, let's define a second state of a swallow part. You already know how to do that. Just place the second state of a swallow part at the bottom right hand corner of the layout, for example. It will give the impression that the button falls at the start of the animation. As soon as you have described your second state, you can write your transition in a program bar. The first property is the name, but it is not necessary. There is no source for a starter animation, and the program will be executed when it receives the loud signal sent at the start of the program. The action of this program will be to switch from the current state, 
the default one to the second state it just defined you have to indicate the target here it is a swallow and what kind of transition you want here a bounce one after that you can compile and execute to see the animation of course you can also define user interactions with edge here clicking on the blue rectangle will resize it you know now that the first thing to do is to define our new state here I define a new state where I'm sizing the blue rectangle with setting world one position and I change its color too in the program block you can give a name and set the source I showed the green rectangle meaning that clicking on the green rectangle will resize the blue one and in fact the green one too but you know why the signal to mouse clicked star which means that when you click on any buttons of your mouse the signal will be received you are now able to fill the rest of this program I just define another type of transition after that let's compile and execute to try to click on the green rectangle in this case we are going to see that it's possible to change several programs together in fact you almost know everything to do it so different three states of the background with three different colors then different three programs each one is a transition from one state to another to call the next program you just have to add the after property in program compile and execute to see our psychedelic background for our last animation we are going to try to make our image rotate by clicking on our button for that we add two other states to our image in the first state called rotate which inherits from the default state we are going to define the map block which allows 3d in transformations enable the map on the part enable smooth map rendering enable perspective and set the rotation angle on the other state have to come back to a zero rotation at that point you know everything to do the programs by yourself it is a mix of what we saw previously so compile and execute and finally click on the button in my case it also modifies the size of the image which gives an impression of zoom in and zoom out a bonus feature if you have enlightenment is that you can set your theme as a desktop background in the settings option of enlightenment in this tutorial I was trying to give you age basics but age of a much more that I didn't be to discover to EFR community. Keep using it and thanks for watching.